Hello everyone, this is Akaim and welcome back to some more Sword of the Stars 2, the Enhanced Edition. Last episode, uh, we unfortunately lost a planet at Law, which is highly unfortunate, but we are currently uh, going back and recolonizing it. Should it be that big of an issue to get it up and going again? Um, especially considering we're hivers and we like to breed like it's no one's business. Uh, we also got the new uh, lasers, uh, the heavy lancer. No, hmm. Now I'm trying to remember what they're called. I'm actually going to have to go quickly take a look. Uh, we got the cutting beams. These are the highest damaging uh, laser beams uh, that are available. Very nice to have. I'm glad we finally got them uh, and we'll be continuing on. I think right now we are researching the Armada command system. So that will allow us to have Dreadnought command um, ships, command ships. Uh, so it's going to allow us to have at least a heavier duty command ship at all times. Um, Try and think if there's anything else. Uh, I believe we actually have a battle incoming. Uh, right here actually <laughs> I think this fleet's coming in about four turns and we also I think have the more guy uh, coming over as well I think the more guy is gonna be a slight pain let's see yeah four turns till they arrive uh, so we should be fine uh, shouldn't be that big of an issue uh, let's see gate fleet 3 have a, has arrived back I remember they do have a gate ship okay so we're good on that and let's see had a caravan fleet arrived I'll try to remember what was aboard that caravan fleet uh, some additional gate ships okay so we're good there I'm trying to think if there's anything else construction fleet incoming to the soul system uh, we're fine here I think is that it uh, we had some freighters built. I think I think everything's pretty much set up to go because I think I uh, double checked this before I ended off on the last episode. I really I really need to try to pay pay attention more often I guess. Uh, but I think everything's looking good. Uh, we have a fleet coming down. I think we're gonna try to recapture Bernard Star. Uh, but we'll see what the next term presents us, and here we go. All right, it looks like we do have a few battles, or a few, sorry, just one. Uh, shouldn't be that big of an issue. It's only a construction fleet, so I'm not overly threatened by this fleet. But let's make sure that we still don't have any problems from this. Because we do have a few... Uh, young colonies and I'd much rather not lose them early on. Let's see over there. Let's get our fleet to move in as quickly as possible. The soul system's quite big, <laughs> to say the very least. Unfortunately, uh, we are in a very uh, good position. I'm not overly concerned with it. Alright. There they are. And we're already beginning the combat phase. Let's see. I'm gonna actually have them try to find uh, the other ships. So with that, I'm just gonna speed this up. And I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to this. Yeah. See, I'm not threatened by them at all. Oh, oh, he's way over there. No, crap, he escaped. Yeah, that's what I kind of figured was going to happen, but I was hoping would not, in fact, actually happen. But, oh well, that was taken care of. Not a major threat to us. Definitely, I definitely want to try to end... I definitely want to try to end uh, the humans as quickly as possible. 
because uh, at the moment they're the greatest threat because essentially with our colonies are the colonies at the soul system and um, Alpha Centauri um, being so close to their other colonies they're kind of a threat towards us and so I don't really want to lose this chance where is Dinbola size 5 wow Wow, um, some good colonies there. I mean, not amazing. Yay. Alright, let's see. Where is... I think we'll uh, try to colonize this uh, in the next turn. That's what I'm hoping for. And let's see. If a fleet incoming here. Let me actually... Make sure everyone's repaired. Very nice. And what I probably need to do, actually. Oh, really? Actually, don't I have stations here? I thought I built stations. I do. I have two, in fact. Um. That I think I could just rely on the stations and I might be fine because it's just a colonization fleet. Uh, do I really want to chance it though? Yeah, I really do want to chance it. I'm not afraid of that. It's only two ships. So I, I think I should be fine actually. Uh, we're good here. Uh, we are finished producing freighters, which I think I might need to actually check to see that I have everyone, everyone full. Just to be on the safe side. Uh, I th thought maybe I did. Maybe I ray filled it up. I thought it was down here. No, it's not Thetis Buddhist. Hmm. Maybe maybe everyone is already filled up. Maybe I just built additional freighters for uh the Pi three. Hmm. Maybe. I'm gonna bet I probably did because doesn't look like there's anything else. All right, so let's go and switch back. And uh, yep, that's actually about it. I did want to check to see whether or not I can retrofit, but it does not look like I do have any fleets available to retrofit. I think most of them are currently patrolling. Um, in one place or another. Let's see. Yeah, I can't do anything with that. Everything else is moving away. Construction fleet. Yeah, this is going to be the issue. Is the majority of my fleets are actually out patrolling. And it might be a little bit of time before I can actually bring them back to continue um, or to actually retrofit uh, the ships. All right, so um, I think that's actually about it. Uh, I don't really think there's actually very much I need to do right now, which is actually really good to hear. Hmm. All right, that's taken care of. Um, I'm, I'm, I really don't think there's anything else. I think we're good to go. Uh, let's go ahead and turn. We are going to have a few battles next turn, which is always a good thing. So here we go. We'll see what the next turn presents us. All right. Looks like we just have a colonization. <sighs> I guess we'll go ahead and just watch it. That's, again, once one of the things I, I complain about is the fact that we can't really skip it, you know, instead of just letting the Peter 
figure it out, we actually have to sit and watch it, which is severely aggravating. Still not a big fan of it. All right. Let's see how our torpedo satellites work. Okay. That ship destroyed was destroyed very quickly. I'm guess I'm guessing these ships were fairly damaged. So I guess not a overly fantastic you know demonstration on the torpedo satellite. But I'm still glad I actually got them produced. I just wish they would have a little bit more weapon armaments than they do. Uh, that's probably my major concern. Okay, we are finally seeing uh, this fleet. Ooh, whoa, 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 over there. Come on, guys, get over there. Uh, this fleet has been traveling uh, via subspace for the past 30 or so turns. And, uh, no, not even 30 turns. I actually don't remember how long. I kind of would like to find out. Someone actually could f double check, see when how long these ships have been traveling for. Um, <laughs> they're coming to essentially uh, the future. Their ships are s probably so old. Like it's it's ab absolutely ridiculous how uh, old these ships are. Dang! Seeing a dreadnought. Last time they saw us, we only had cruisers. Okay, that was that was kind of a uh, just a complete washout for them. <laughs> They've been traveling all this time trying to get back home. They finally reach a system, and then they die. Kind of sad, but yeah, it's the Zoles. They honestly aren't the greatest creatures, greatest beings in the universe. All right, so not an overly uh, dramatic battle. I, I will have to say I'm grateful that it only took a uh, few minutes just to get through that but once again I really wish they did not take away the whole um, lightning Peter just uh, decide how it works out because sometimes that that I mean that was not needed for me to sit and watch it and good earth is self-sufficient I no longer need a colonizer awesome 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 um, Denibus had a world there. I do want to go colonize, and we will go colonize it super quick because it's actually not that far away from our own uh, worlds as far as the climate hazard is concerned. As you come so around, should be we will decent. Although, let's see. Uh, where was it? It was over here. Yeah, <laughs> development cost 44. Yeah, not overly, uh, not something I'm overly concerned about. Alright, so that's taken care of. Um, I do need to check. Could repair them. They weren't even that damaged. Wow, that was kind of ridiculous. Uh, let's go ahead and just have them on trade. This colony, I think, is actually starting... I don't know. It's a fully established colony. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, that's taken care of. Okay, good. Survey fleet. First gate fleet is... I'm guessing it's over here. At Bernard Star. Now, the only race I don't think we've seen is the um, the machine race. And now I can't think of what they're called. I, I, I should, should feel ashamed, but at the exact same time, they're not. They're a newer race. I just can't think of their name right off the top of my head. I don't know why. I just went blank. But we haven't met them yet, which is unfortunate. I don't even think... 
yeah, I, I just have not met them at all, which is interesting to say the very least. Uh, let's see. I don't think there's actually anything else. Is there... I think I can bring back... Is it the fleet at Glower? Oh, wow. Oh, yes. I, I didn't even have anyone there. Right. I completely forgot about that. I didn't even send anyone over there to protect it. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to have to keep them there until uh, these other two fleets get back uh, from their travels. All right. I think with that, we're actually just going to end turn. Because, yeah, once again, there's very little for me to do. I mean, I could possibly upgrade a station. And I probably should do that. It's like Capella. Yeah, we'll get it upgraded. Might do might get that upgraded too. Confirm. Yeah, let's do it. And then we'll also do uh, upgrade this one as well, since we do have the construction fleets available. Go ahead and get those going as well. All right, with that taken care of, I think we're actually good to go. Wow, we're actually uh, having quite a few turns in this video. So we will go ahead and see what the next turn presents us and hopefully go from there. All right, uh, survey fleet. Hmm. No, I, I, I really don't trust my the AI to handle this battle, so I'm going to uh, do it myself, I guess. It's, you know, always fun to do. Which way? Alright. Might speed this up just a bit. It looks like a couple ships didn't actually realize they were there and started kept going. I guess they didn't reach a certain area. Certain zone. Alright. I'm gonna just go ahead and speed this up. Because honestly, there's not much that I can do. They're over there, heading towards my planet, and that's actually the end of the battle there. Yeah, I, we unfortunately didn't destroy their command ship, which is unfortunate. But, we did destroy a couple of their cruisers. Alright, well, that, I guess, was... Rather a bit annoying, actually. Like, how much... I wonder how much money, or I wonder what their um, morale is with their worlds. Because they did lose their home system. But they keep sending in these small, frivolous fr uh, fleets that's no threat to me at all. And they keep losing... Uh, Ships left and right, and also look at this. Nimbola doesn't even require any uh, major alteration to the climate hazard, climate hazard, which is awesome. Don't have to worry about that. Um, let's see. Now there was another colony or another world down here that we could colonize, and I might as well go ahead and do it. Size 5, it's normal. Yeah, let's go ahead and just go colonize it, get it completely taken care of, and then go from there. Uh, let's see, how many civilians? Oh, the normal, 13,000. Yeah, that, that will jump up quite dramatically, which is always a good thing. 
Let's see. A fleet incoming here. I think we'll be fine. I actually want to check the fleet manager or battle manager. Because I want to put my fleet in a good position to intercept them. Can I just move you a little bit further back? Oh, I totally can. That's actually really cool. All right, finally, finally able to actually use this like it's intended. But, all right, that's good. We should intercept the more guy with no issue. Oh, the Loa. That's that's the uh, cybernetic uh, robotic race uh, in the uh, Sword of the Stars series. All right, we have ships incoming. Do I? Do I have any defenses here, by the way? I have none, which kind of sucks because that means I actually need to have a fleet patrol up here. I'm going to send the fleet from the soul system to do this. We live to defend. All right. Good. I don't want to worry about them uh, up there. And I th think, try to think if there's anything I really need to do. Nothing's really popping to mind. We are starting to gain money, which is always a good thing. Always a good thing. Always nice to see. Look at, look at all the stuff I'm producing and the colonies. But hey, once it's up and going, we'll be good. I don't want to worry about that. And I think with that, we'll go ahead and turn and we will see what the next turn presents us and hopefully uh, finish off the humans and then continue our push and hopefully get to Bernard Star. Hopefully they haven't uh, retaken Bernard Star. We'll see, but here we go. All right, a couple battles uh, per usual. Nothing I'm overly concerned about. So this should be a walk in the park, a piece of cake, so to speak. So we are in a good enough position to intercept. Where are they at? Way over here. Come on, come on guys. Come on. Let's get after them. All right, it's probably just their command ship and supply ships, so nothing too extravagant. I do want you to pull away. Cause I don't really want you close to this fight. I'd rather keep my distance away, not chance them dying. Look at this freaking point defense system. Our, I, I wish our point defense system was as good as this. I definitely need to get the cutting beams onto our ships. Just so we can do more damage more quickly. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and speed this up, honestly. I, I don't see them as major threats. And there we go. All taken care of. Not, not a threat to us at all. So that's always a good thing. Alright, so next one is going to be a little bit more interesting. Uh, actually get to fight against the more guy. Oh, they're behind us? How are they behind us? Oh, crap. Shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Didn't realize they were going to be right behind us. Let's get uh, these ships out of the way. I guess 
per usual, we'll go ahead and destroy their command ship first. But yeah, once again, more guy not really a threat towards us. Not a threat at all. But right now I want to focus down these uh, three ships that are right close to my colony. Looks like they're going after my command ship. And now they're starting to attack my colony itself. We should start being in range. We should quickly kill them. Yeah, once again, not overly threatened by the more guy. And I, I would love to see their dreadnoughts. I think it'd be so cool to see their dreadnoughts right now. I honestly don't even know if they are at the Dreadnought technology. I kind of want to go over and just to see whether or not they do have it. Probably. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to do that uh, after I get done recording. Quickly hop over to their empire and see whether or not they actually have uh, Dreadnought technology. Because I don't recall what the Dreadnoughts look like for the Morgai. Alright, well, destroy the command ship. Once again, not a major threat. Not a major threat at all. Alright, let's try to quickly finish them off. A poor colony, unfortunately, has taken some hits. But nothing too devastating that uh, sh we should be able to recuperate fairly quickly. Alright. Nice. Alright. More guys completely eliminated. Wow. That did not take a very long time at all. Yeah. I... I honestly... I honestly would like to double check. I might have to go back and see what I did on my very first video. Um, what <laughs> difficulty I set them at. Because at the moment, I'm not overly threatened by uh, any of these opponents. Like I know in Sword of the Stars of Murder Crows, um, they were hard. They were extremely difficult. They had a lot of handicaps. Uh, they were quickly able to build up these massive fleets. Ugh, it's not particularly fun. Awesome. Cool. Go ahead, and finish colonizing, and we'll go ahead and get this colony going, which is always a good thing. Uh, battle serious. Um. Ooh, that's actually. I didn't realize, but let's actually go ahead and get this surveyed real super quick. You will have a complete map of the system. And then uh, we have the fourth invasion fleet coming back. I'm gonna actually just go ahead and send them back as well. Stand down, brothers. The and over here, I'll go ahead and send these guys home as well. Because I no longer require them there. Um, if I can get them back home, I can try to get them retrofitted, uh, which does unfortunately take them out of a turn, which is unfortunate. But it means they are going to be a little bit more uh, powerful, which is always a good thing. Uh, let's see. First gate fleet as a ride back. Let's go ahead and get a gate ship in with them. And crap. Survey fleet incoming to the soul system. Oh crap. That's uh I'm I'm gonna have to get someone over here to patrol. Uh we'll get the first combat fleet back over back down here. 
I just, I'm just I'm just gonna have to do it because uh, the humans are just becoming a annoyance more than anything else. Uh, but with that, we are actually gonna go ahead and end off this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you saw, hit the like and subscribe button. You guys have a great and fantastic day. Zai Jen.